With the release of Adobe Captivate 2019, the way you insert video into your e-learning project may have changed a little bit from what you're used to. You still have the media icon on the Adobe Captivate toolbar here, and if I click on that, you'll see an op option for video. I'll click on the video option right now, and it looks mostly familiar, but let me point a couple things out to you. Uh, first of all, event video, which hasn't changed. Uh, this is where you select a video that's located on your computer and you make it available to an e-learning project uh, on a particular slide, but it doesn't run in sync with the rest of your e-learning project. So for example, if I have a five minute video and I insert it on a three second slide, that slide will still be a three second slide, but your learners will be able to play that event video, fast forward, rewind, restart the video and so on. The problem with event video, it's quite uh, flexible, but the problem with event video is because it's not in sync with the rest of your e-learning project, it's not compatible with things like the built-in closed captioning feature that Adobe offers. The other option, of course, used to be called multi-slide synchronized video, which I think the name alone confused people. But now they've relabeled this and simply called it slide video, which actually makes a lot more sense. This too is a video that you would select from your computer uh, using these controls here, and you could distribute it across multiple slides. But I think most people would simply use it for a single slide purpose. The advantage that slide video, as it's now called, uh, is that of course it is compatible with closed captioning but the video will run in parallel with the timeline of your e-learning project. Uh, so you would have to use the built-in controls uh, that you've provided your learners to be able to play, pause, fast forward, rewind, and so on. One thing that's different from uh, what we used to call multi-slide synchronized video and now is called slide video is that there's an option for YouTube videos. We've had the ability to insert YouTube videos a number of different ways. You could use a learning interaction or you could use a web object and each of those provides their own advantages, but there's also some disadvantages to them as well. This actually, I think, is probably going to be the more universal method of adding a YouTube video to your e-learning project. It's very simple and straightforward to use. You simply select YouTube video and you can insert the URL of that video just by doing this. Optionally, you can input a start time and an end time in the number of seconds. However, this can be done later as you're editing your e-learning project. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and click OK at this point and insert that video onto this slide. So you can see from the timeline, it's actually extended the length of the slide to match the length of the video. Of course, if I select the video, I can do several things to it. The first thing is that I can actually change those start and end times. So for example, if I know that the the video doesn't really start until about eight seconds into the video. I can actually just put in eight seconds. And what's going to happen is that it's going to essentially remove the first eight seconds of that video. Uh, and I could also change the end time if I wanted to end uh, before, let's say, some advertising that might be at the end of a video. Under the Options tab, of course, you can resize this video. Uh, the method I usually take when I'm resizing uh, a video such as this is I'll first of all move it up to the upper left hand corner by putting my X value at zero and my Y value at zero. And then of course I can take a look at the actual height and width of this particular project. Um, and maybe I'll just put in the height, 627. Uh, maybe I'll just round it down a little bit so there's a little bit of extra space. And then, of course, I can use the alignment toolbar. And if you don't have that open already, it's available from the window drop down menu. And then I can simply center um, uh, either horizontally or vertically or both uh, so that the video appears uh, in the middle of the slide. One of the advantages of this particular new type of inserting a video is that it's compatible with 
two features that are new in Adobe Captivate. Um, they're sort of tied together. The ability to insert an overlay slide at a particular point during your YouTube video, but also you'll be able to insert bookmarks. And bookmarks are, like the name suggests, a placeholder that allows you to jump back to that exact position in your e-learning project from anywhere else in the course. It becomes one of the actions that are available to you. Uh, I have a separate video that explains interactive video, which uh, these two elements are a subset of, and you can watch that if you follow this link here. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.